How are things going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing more GTA San Andreas videos. Um, this is the third um, casino video where Woozy assigns CJ or doesn't really assign CJ a mission. CJ volunteers to do the mission. And the casino is being robbed in a sense because a crime family is making fake chips. So, so CJ volunteers to shut down the manufacturing of said chips. And it's actually a pretty easy mission, but if you get too carried away, you could end up dead. So I will walk you through this mission. It's called You've Had Your Chips. Hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five-card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me. You know, when I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh, yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Did you catch that bit where CJ is playing uh, blackjack with Woozy and Woozy's blind? So he hits trying to get a five card hand. Well, it's obvious if you know how to play blackjack, he's probably busted. And so CJ tells him, uh, yeah, you got like 47. And Woozy is like, CJ, you're bad luck. When I play with other guys, I usually win. Well, that's the thing. The other guys, well, hey, they depend on Woozy for their livelihood, so they're going to suck up to him. Now, the drive to the chip manufacturing is pretty long, so I'm going to fast forward like I always do and get to the walkthrough of the actual battle. Once you get to the battle, if you have the M4, switch to that. You're better off just brazenly walking in because if you try and sneak in and hey, they catch you, he looks like a cop you're going to end up dead quickly. Go so you just brazenly walk in, and they go warn the boss, and then you go over to the car and you take cover because that is what's going to set off the mission battle is you shoot into the factory, and now it flips to everyone's prepared to fight CJ. And again, once they position you, take cover again. Just get behind the car. Don't try and do the wall thing like I'm trying to do, and I flip to the sniper rifle. Just run CJ back to the car and use that as cover, and you should take a few hits. You'll be able to take a lot of guys down with the M4. And... You're going to have to cross over to the crates, and some guys are going to shoot at you. Once you get in position, you can shoot back at them. 
yes, you gotta kind of creep in to the warehouse then and make sure you take down all the bad guys. The green blips you see on the radar are the machines for manufacturing chips. You shoot those up, they'll blow up, but I'll deal with those later. You want to deal with the guards, you can't see them on the map. So they'll shoot at you if they see you. And you got to sneak through and take down the guys who are shooting at you. And once you take down the guys... You can worry about taking down the machines, but keep creeping around. I can tell you they will be sending more guards. Now, when it comes to taking down the machines, you can either shoot them up with the M4, or in the case I'm going to do, I'm going to flip to the automatic shotgun. I think there are no more guards. I'm just going to sneak around here to find any I they're dead so flip to the automatic shotgun and bloom or boom one shot the machine is gone someone's shooting at you shoot back using the shotgun flip to the machine gun the M4 and up oh, these guys are coming in you want to kind of hustle over here yeah more guards are coming in, or they're coming from the second floor. Use the boxes and machinery for cover and protection. Again, just take down the machines. Once they're down, you may have to fight for a few guards, but it's really relatively easy. And again, use the shotgun and blast the machines. Now you got to leave, uh, flip to the M4. Again, you're going to have to take down a few guards. Get close to the wall here. Yep, there's another guy. Shoot him. There's another guy getting out of the car. Shoot him. Shoot the car up. You're going to get a wanted level, but you just need to get to the casino then and avoid the cops. Ah, Should have ran away. Oh! To be honest with you, there is no way you're going to get out unscathed. These guys come at you, they shoot at you with automatic shotguns and heavier weapons than just a normal pistol or small machine gun. You got a wanted level, every cop along the way is going to be coming after you. It's easier to take this back route along this road here and... If you have to drive on the sand, do so. But this back route is the quickest route back to the casino. And you'll come up behind the airport. You'll have to jog through the airport a little bit. I don't know why people jump in front of your car all the time. It's kind of weird, but yeah, you don't worry about it. Just get to the casino and get the wanted level, you don't have to worry about getting it down. Once you get to the casino, the wanted level will automatically drop off. You want me to smash you now? Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Ten thousand plus respect, and your wanted level is gone. Go save the game. Bring up CJ's health. You'll have to find a uh, body armor, but that's about it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.